So apparently, this is an overdose. Top 25 move, L, L Generico, uh, TSV uh, Classic, another once again from my favorite Thunder Cloud. Uh, I forgot that I was supposed to put both videos at the same time, um, but that, but the only reason why, because my third channel hasn't have a long videos of it so I have to separate it at the same time because whatever I wanted to make sure that if I have longer videos I can't post it on my third channel because that's why I need more subscribers so I can be able to make sure that I will be able to post e even longer videos so yeah that's why it's more important <laughs> but yeah, I had to separate it, so I apologize. So, yeah, man. But, um, in case you don't know of El Jerico is, is, uh, is Sami Zayn that actually dressed as El, El Jerico for it? And I didn't know till then, but, uh, but that was very awesome how we're going back, back in time to see the rest of the how it how to start first like Tyler Black of course that's my first name Tyler Black is Steph Rollins Kevin Steen is Kevin Owens um what else oh Luke um Brody Lee of course well, Luke Cooper, of course, so yeah, that's how it is, but, um, uh, I think any indie wrestler, uh, I think other indie wrestler that I know about them for quite a long time, and, um, um, I was, cause, um, I was hoping that if that would be a good idea, for me to look at most of the indies wrestling, like Stout Rollins, Kevin Owens, um, uh, Ricochet, yeah, Ricochet, Adam Cole, um, Kylie O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, Malachi Black, Buddy Murphy, Brody King. And probably more of them, cause um, I will gladly take a look at the rest of the top 25 moves for Thunderfall if you can help me out. I'll, that'll be so great. Cause I'll be taking a look at all of the uh, all of them. Uh, where the hell would I know about these guys? So yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. So yeah, but uh, let's check it out in five, four, three, two. Oh wait. Before I do that. Okay. But yeah, man, I apologize because I know I have been, you know, you get the point. And JAP, except maybe you. Well. I cross bottom. Damn. <laughs> damn. Ain't no damn scene star. What the hell? Hear that? Split-legged boots! 
Split leg moonsault. The effects to his back, slow him down, able to hit it. Tens of dollars to Arabian press to the point. Damn. Chopping with ease. Generic hit the tornado. Scoops him up. Uh oh. Oh! Goes to more would be in his favor. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's why he didn't use the move because some of the got um some of the part that he messed up from it, the double pump handle orange crush. So I think that's why he stopped using it because some uh, one of uh, one of the rest that got injured during that. And I think that's why. I think that's why it happened. So yeah, I, I understand why he didn't use that move. So. Yeah.
fucking got me, man. That shit is so funny to me because all the fucking screams. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Thunderfire, man, for showing me that, because, uh, one of the craziest Supreme Master! <laughs> like, the, the fucking, um, one of the indie's commentary going fucking crazy, man. That shit was hilarious, man. But, yo, that was a great one, man. Once again, I apologize, um, because, um, all the bullshit that's been going on. But, yeah. Let me know, comment down below, what you think about it, what's your favorite move of Sammy Jane or El Chirico, how do you want to call it, cause he should have brought back the Brain Buster DT as his finisher move or his signature move, cause um, it wouldn't make sense to see him like that, but it sucks man, it sucks that we ain't get the chance to see more of his Brain Buster moves, so I got a question. Is the Brain Buster different than the Brain Buster DT? Because I've been trying to figure it out myself. Because I don't know how, but I thought I was going to use all the Brain Buster moves at the same time. But I'm trying to figure it out if it's going to be the different move or not. 